Um, just to start off with Saturday then, um, how pleased were you with that response after the Leicester game to come back and, and get a bonus point win against Wasps? Yeah, um, yeah, we weren't happy after Leicester, obviously. Um, and uh, no, it was important that we, um, we showed our true colours against Wasps. And um, in the end, it was a, a performance built on um, very strong defence. Um, and we got on top uh, with our maul. And uh, I thought the boys um, performed very well to get the bonus point at, at home. So yeah, happy and happy to move on now to Harlequins. Yeah, and I guess key now to, to build on that and take the good things into the next game. Yeah, uh, it, look, it's very early in the season. There's always going to be things to work on. Um, and we understand the Quins, the challenge they bring. They had a superb win at Saints last week. To, to, win, to score 49 points away from home is, is a pretty good achievement and they'll be riding high. Um, their big players are playing well for them. They've got a good spine to their team. Um, and it's every week that it, this league throws up a, a new tactical challenge and. Um, yeah, the boys are looking forward to it. Uh, it tends to be quite an open game usually between Gloucester and, and Quinns. Are you expecting a, a similar one this weekend? Yeah, I mean, everyone's talking about the game at the moment, aren't they? About the, the kick fest and stuff. And I think it's about just getting the balance and, and playing, playing, the, playing the ball and playing the situation. But um, yeah, we're, I think they're two teams who want to go out and play um, and play positive rugby. And um, yeah, we, we'll, we'll put, in plan, put in place a plan to, to hopefully get on top. Uh, this weekend, hopefully, we're going to see around 2,000 fans back in King's Home as well. Um, what difference do you think that will make, and how much are you looking forward to, to seeing them back? No, it's great. I mean, King's Home is just synonymous with passionate crowd, and even though there's only 2,000 of them, I'm sure they make the noise of, of 18,000. Um, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to, to the Gloucester cry and the Gloucester cheer. Um, and, you know, it's important we put a performance on for them because the I mean, it hasn't been easy for anyone, has it? But let's be honest, the last nine months it's been pretty pretty tough for everyone. And, you know, whether you're working in the industry or people being ill, it's just, it's. It, I think we'll all be look forward to seeing the back of 2020 and hopefully 2021 will bring a, a new lease of life for everyone in the country. But yeah, for the 2,000 lucky fans who get the chance to to come in, you know, we, we want to we make them proud of, 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 of Gloucester rugby um, and, and the performance we put in. Yeah, and even though it won't be the, the usual raw, just having fans there, uh, some of the, those you know big occasions in the game where you need a bit of boost from the crowd, that, that's going to help. Yeah, I mean, I, I played many times as a non-Gloucester player here, um, and the, 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 the crowd do make a difference. I missed a number of kicks here. I've got a number of EORs um, on the back of it. I'm, I'm looking forward to a number, another number 10 getting those EORs this weekend. <laughs> Yeah, obviously, we mentioned Marcus Smith. I mean, he, he looks like a player who's getting better and better. He had a great weekend for Quinns. Uh, eight kicks, a try, and a couple of assists. I know they've got plenty of quality across the pitch, but you don't really want to give him too many chances. No, he's, um, he's a player who, who, who thrives on, 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 on opportunities that present themselves in the game. He has a, he has a, a turn of speed, he has a, a chip game, a good passing game, and he's got a good relationship, obviously, with... With Danny Kerr and that's Don Brandt, Kerr, Smith, Brown, Axis has been really, really strong for them. Um, they're well coached by, by Paul um, and his coaching team. Um, and they, they were obviously disappointed after their, you know, first round loss at home to Exeter, where they got, you know, found out in a few areas and, and they put things right against Saints. So they'll be they'll be highly motivated going to this one before the European break.